On May 27, 1958, the McDonnell aircraft, later McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II Naval Interceptor, made its first flight. Designed as a carrier airplane to defend the fleet against Soviet supersonic bombers, the concept was to create an interceptor that could climb rapidly and fly fast enough to catch bombers before they got close enough to attack the fleet. Prior to entering service in 1960, the F-4 proved its concept by setting 15 aviation records for such things as speed and altitude. Designed to shoot down bombers rather than dogfight with fighters, the F-4 was built without a gun and maneuverability was not a priority. It was to be a big, immensely powerful, fast jet that could quickly shoot down supersonic bombers as far from the fleet as possible. The reality was that the mission of such a capable platform would inevitably include dogfighting with enemy fighters and serving as a ground attack jet as well. The U.S. Air Force was impressed with the capabilities of the big jet and also adopted it for its own use. Armed with eight air-to-air -air missiles, usually four sidewinders for close range and four sparrows for longer range, military theorists of the time saw no need for a gun, expecting combat to be at a longer range than a gun could engage wrong. In Vietnam, where the rules of engagement greatly limited the advantage of the F-4's radar to guide long-range missiles, the pilots were required to get within visual range to identify each target positively so as to avoid friendly fire situations, which caused combat to occur at close range where the superior maneuverability of the less powerful and lower technology Soviet jets could frustrate phantom pilots. Missiles were not the wonder weapons that they were cracked up to be, and often missed or malfunctioned. Often combat was too close for the minimum range to use missiles, and the lack of a gun cost lives in aircraft, as well as many missed opportunities for shooting down the enemy. A jury-rigged solution was to carry 20mm Gatling-type guns, Vulcan, in pods under the jets, which limited the Phantom to subsonic flight. As combat was rarely supersonic anyway, this was not a bad idea. A better idea was to incorporate an internal Vulcan 20mm cannon into the design of the jet, which was done starting in the F-4E model. Able to carry as much as 18,000 pounds of rockets and bombs, the F-4 was a rugged and fearsome fighter bomber. With 5,195 F-4s built, compared to only 1,198 F-15s built, the Phantom II is the most prolific of any U.S. supersonic aircraft and served the U.S. Navy, Marine Corps, and Air Force until 1996, as well as 11 other countries, some still in use. From 1960 to the mid-1970s, the Phantom II was the frontline American fighter bomber. As a cracked fact, in the Vietnam War, there were 22 aerial aces, five Americans flying in F-4s, and 17 North Vietnamese. No Americans have become an ace since then, ace meaning a pilot or weapon system officer responsible for shooting down five enemy planes. As a question for my students and subscribers, have you ever flown in an F-4? Please let us know in the comments section below this video. If you like this video and would like to receive notification of new videos, please feel welcome to subscribe to History and Headlines and become one of our patrons. Your viewership is much appreciated.